Hello there, here's a video on doors and actually it's uh, on custom NPC and how you can make doors with uh, scripting. So, uh, because you can never have too many doors in uh, Minecraft. So this one here is pretty simple. You just walk up to it and it opens and what it's using, it's using the shulker um, block and I think it uh, gives a pretty cool effect there, especially with the two colors. So this this guy can open and close it too if you just click on him. Or I have this uh, custom NPC's redstone block, which connects to a scripted block right there. And when that fires, when that detects me, it will send a signal here, and this changes the block state here, or block event is what it is um, which is I guess the block state also um, so it changes it from 1 1 to 1 0 and that basically um, opens and closes it <laughs> so that's all there is to that um, so and I can't get in that side because the block is not activated. So this one is similar. It's got a block here. It activates, but it doesn't open because I need it to have a glass block in my hand. And then I can go through. If I don't have the glass block, it doesn't... oops, it has to close first. There we go. It will not open even though this activates. And if I have one in me now, if I have one in my hand now, it won't open because this signal is active currently so I have to have it turn off and come back again and this one is the same except it makes these blocks uh, passable so they look like they're still there but as long as I have this glass block in my hand I can just walk right through them but now the uh, the block is not activated now these here this one was a little bit hard to do but it, it kind of works it's uh, these are um, custom NPC uh, slime blocks <laughs> and I can go up here and they won't let me in and I've tried to get around them and I don't think it's really possible so what I need to do is have a glass block in my hand and of course this could be anything it could be a particular item or a key or something like that I just chose glass block because it was easy to it was easy to spell so um, and I had it on hand here so uh, when I have the glass block in the hand I can just go up here and when I collide they will move out of my way into their little cubby and then they will come back again and this works actually both ways um, and sometimes they're a little bit off but they look pretty good right now sometimes they get a little turned around yeah see sometimes they don't line up quite right but uh, um, what I have these guys set at is they're actually flying they are um, I have them on manual rotation I think I have no living animation no I, I, I tried puppet that didn't, um, I think that's return to start yes okay and uh, their size is slightly smaller too so I think those all made them work pretty well as far as moving out of the way I think they're both set on, set on flying yeah so that's how that is I don't know they're just some some cool doors <laughs> that you could have for your passageways um, there you go. See, that was a little... Uh, he straightened out. That's pretty good. Okay, well, that's it. Thanks for watching.